Hello, Lisette. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Roberto. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to another week, to another class. It's a pleasure to have you here. So many of your classmates are going to connect in a moment. So it is very nice for me to start another week with you. I hope you have had the chance to advance in the platform. And if you had any difficulty with the exercises, you can let me know so I can see the way to help you. Have you had any problem with the platform or with the exercises? No problem. No problem. Okay. So everything is good so far. That is fantastic. So what did you do on your weekend? How was it? How was your weekend? Tell me about the activities that you did. Mr. Robert, what did you do on your weekend? Yesterday, I went to Komasawa. I uh -huh. went to El Peñón de Komasawa. Oh, good. Yeah, this is a wonderful place. I imagine, I imagine. I have been there, I think only one time, but it's a very beautiful place to go. Very beautiful. Yes. Was my first time. It was your first time. I remember that I went like maybe around nine years ago when I was in the university, but it was a very nice experience. Yes, it's beautiful. It's, it's, Later, very, it's very oh, difficult to go and to climb, but then the view is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Roberto, for sharing. So, Guillermo, you are at home today. You are not at the airport. Uh, well, uh, I, I, going to, I am going to the airport at midnight today. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Yeah. So you enter at midnight and you finish? When? At uh, morning at say, uh, 6 a.m. And, oh uh, and retour at 12 p.m. And walk to my home at oh. 9 p.m. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it's a very long journey, the one that it's awaiting for you. But did you have the opportunity to sleep during the day? Uh, yes, I have only three to four hours oh, per day. Good. That's good. At least you rest a little bit. Thank you for sharing, Mr. Guillermo. Angela, how was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, my weekend was uh, fun. It was fun. Went, what did you do? Yes, I went to Perkin. Hey, you went to Perkin. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, and Roberto went to Comasagua, <laughs> so you were kind of close. <laughs> that was very yeah. nice. Oh, that's Perkin is a very beautiful city. It has yeah. a, lot of, a lot of history behind, and that's very good. Yeah, actually, I went to a. Uh, I, I don't want. I don't know how to say Mirador. Um, uh, viewpoint. Viewpoint. A viewpoint. Uh, sorry. In a museum. Oh, the museum is very fantastic. There are a yes. lot of helicopters and things, and they're very. But... It was my first time in Perkin. Well, it's another beautiful. It was my first time in the Oriente. Oh, it's really? It's very far. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And you were coming from San Salvador? Yes. Ah, the same day. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Angela, for sharing. Well, today, we're going to, um, well, I thank you everybody. Hello to all the ones that have connected. Mr. Jonathan, hello, Hazel, Angelica, Catherine, Francisco, Monica, Mr. Mario, Mr. Oscar, welcome to the class to all of you. 
Hello, Mr. Mario Barahona, that is connecting. It's a great Hello. pleasure. It's a great pleasure to see you again. Well, Thanks. in the last class, do you remember what we were studying on Thursday? Mm -hmm. What were we studying on Thursday? Sentences. Aha, uh -huh, but about what? Do, uh, what kind? Do and what kind, very good, excellent. What else do you remember from the last class? What else do you remember from the last class? The intonation in the questions? Uh, the intonation in questions. Good, very good. We remember the intonation in questions, right? The difference when you connect, when you um, mention the questions with yes and no and the WH questions. Good, very good. So, Today, we are going to continue working a little bit on this for us to finish that topic. And then we're going to uh, enter to the new section that we're going to work. Okay, so just a little bit of the class agreements. Jonathan, can you help me to remember the class agreements for everybody? Me teacher. Yes. Okay. Practice your English as much as possible. Be, re, be, be respect, respectful. respectful and polite. polite. Attention, attend all your class. Keep your camera active all the time. Work on the educa education platform. Keep an active and cooperative activity on the WhatsApp group. Very good. Thank you very much. And I know you are always there helping each other in the WhatsApp group, right? Today, we're going to work a little bit on invitations, right? We're going to learn how to invite different people to do different things. For sure, this was the first question, but I changed it a little bit to what did you do on your last weekend? And some of you were sharing that you, um, that you travel to some places in El Salvador, that you rested, that you did many other things. So thank you for sharing that at the beginning of your class. Do you remember where did you go on your last vacations before pandemic? Ooh. Where did you go on your last vacations before pandemic? I went to the beach with my went, family. You went to the beach with your family. Okay, who else? Who else remembers? Where did you go on your last vacations before COVID? I go to camping. I went camping, you say, I went camping. Went camping. Good, without masks, right? <laughs> Excellent. Who else? I went to Laberinto de Albania. Oh, okay, in Ataco, right? You went to Laberinto de Albania. Yes. Very good. Mr. Guillén, it's so great to see you. Hey, it's very nice to have your camera active. Where did you go on your last vacation before COVID? For my last vacation, I traveled uh, to Ratan for the year 2019. 2019, to yes. Okay, very good. Let me see, I'm going to ask, Heidi, where did you go on your last vacations before pandemic? Miss Heidi. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Hi. Don't worry. Where was your last the vacation? Question? Where did you go on your last vacations before COVID? I don't know vacation. <laughs> you, you, you didn't have vacations. Yeah. No. Okay. 
<laughs> Only working. Let me see the last yeah. one. I am going to ask Catherine Reyes. Do you remember? I went to the beach. You went to the beach. Good. I don't really remember. I think I went to the beach. That, that was my last vacation before pandemic, before the masks, right? Because now it, you cannot go anywhere without the mask. So I have here some true and false questions that we are going to use in our yes. first exercise. Here. How do you make the question for the first sentence? How would you make a question with the first sentence? I live in the city. Where, where do you live? Uh -huh, where do you live? If you want to make a yes, no question, how would you make it? Yes. Uh -huh. If you want to create a yes no question, how would you do it? Do you live in the city? Do you live in the city? Very good. Do you live in the city? And the answer will be yes or no. Yes, yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Or yes, I do. I live in the city, right? For you to give a complete answer with complete information. For number two, what will be the question for number two? Do you have a car? Do you have a car? What will be the answer? Yes, I yes, have a I car. Do. Or yes, I, I do. Very good. Let me see. Miss Catherine, ask the question to Mr. Jonathan, number three. Mm. Do you live in an apartment? No. I live in house. No, I don't. I live in a house. Good. Remember, when you are going to address a question to a specific person, you say, Jonathan, do you live in an apartment? And the person is going to say, no, I don't. I live in a house. Okay. <clears throat> we didn't do anything. Okay. Aquí no pasó nada. Catherine, <clears throat> can you ask the question number three to Jonathan, please? Okay. Jonathan, do you live in an apartment? No. I don't, I live in my house. Very good, I live in a house. Good, very good. Now, Jonathan, ask the question to Angela Xiomara, number four. Angela Xiomara, do you live in with your parents? Yes, I do, I live with my parents. Very good, do you live with your parents? Very good. Angela, ask the question to Alfredo, number five. Alfredo, do you do your homework at school? Yes, I do my homework at school. Very good. I do my homework at school. <laughs> Alfredo, ask question number six to Lisette. Lisette, do you do your homework alone? No, I don't my homework alone. I don't do. I don't do. I don't do my homework alone. And who helps you? Uh-huh. Who helps you with the homework, Lisette? Hmm. Teacher Nati. <laughs> who helps you with the homework? <laughs> ¿Quién te ayuda con la tarea? Nadie siempre la dice sola. Ah. Pero no sé cómo decir eso. So you say, do you do your homework alone? Yes, I do my homework alone. Because you say, no, I don't. Someone does the homework with you, right? Ah, Good. ok, ok. So you say, yes, I do my homework alone. Good. I help you with homework okay. sometimes. Yeah, a veces sí les ayudo. It's like, teacher, help me. It's like, mm, I do it. The next question, Lisette, ask question number seven to Francisco. Francisco, do you ride my bike, your bike to school? No, I don't, I don't ride my bike to school. 
And how do you go to school? What? How do you go to school? I ride my motorcycle. I ride my motorcycle, good. Well, now you only click in the computer for you to go to school. Ahora vamos a la escuela solo con un click. And that's very nice. Francisco, ask question number eight to Hazel. Hey, sir, do you have sister, sisters? Yes, I do. I have two sisters. Oh, very nice. Hey, sir, ask the question number nine to, let me see, to Roberto. Okay. Roberto, do you have brothers? Yes, I do. I have two brothers. Very good. Roberto, ask the last question to Maria Amanda. Maria, do you work downtown? No, I don't. So you work in the city? In the city. Very good. Excellent. Teacher. Yes? Pues es un ejemplo. Aquí en El Salvador, De decir downtown, nos podríamos referir a qué lugar? Uh, if you say downtown here in San Salvador, it would be the center of San Salvador. <laughs> uh -huh. The center yeah. of San Salvador. That would be downtown, it would be the center of San Salvador. But in the suburbs, it would be like in Escalón, in Zona Rosa, right? In the cities that are around San Salvador, right? But downtown okay. will be like the center of the city. Yeah, near, near Catedral, near uh, the park, the Simon Bolivar Park, all these things will be oh, downtown. Yes. And for example, if you are in Santa Tecla, downtown will be, uh, what, uh -huh. will be, what will be downtown in Santa Tecla? Well, the park, the center of the city, that will be downtown. So we don't have that, that much space right to be specific only the centers of the city for us it will be that in the united states because of the cities are very big it has like seven cities that are that you can comprehend as downtown but here only the center of our little cities so that would be that would be or downtown Good, thank you very much. And let me see, Maria Amanda, can you ask question number one to your teacher? The microphone, sweetie. Uh, where do you live? Oh, I live in San Salvador. Thank you very okay. much. Excellent. Very good practice for the questions with do and does, very good. So here we have a little exercise that we are going to complete. Good, and, we, and it says, do you like country music, Sara? And the first answer that we have, yes, I do. Yes, I do, do. do. yes, I do, very good. Yes, I do, but we need something extra here. Yes, I do, comma. What extra information would you add here? Country music. I like, I like music. I like I... Very good. Yes, I do. Like country music. No? Because you have it. Yes, I do. Okay. I like it a, a lot. lot. When you refer to it, well, in this case, it will be replacing country music, okay? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. I am a real fan of Garth Grad, Brooks. I think it's a country music singer. Oh! Does he play the guitar? Does he play the guitar. Does. Very good. Does he play the guitar? Yes, he does. does. Yes, he does. He does. he does. He's my favorite musician, right? He's my favorite musician. And it's a Gwent. kind of what kind of music? What kind of music? Your parents. Your parents. Listen. 
listen. Do your parents do your like? Parents like. Okay. Vamos a hacer una, una plana de pronunciación de parents. Parents, no parents. 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 Okay. Uh, what is the question? Can you read the question for me, my dear students? What, what kind of music do you like? Like Jason? Like Jason? Parents. Very good. Excellent. They? Parents. Do. do. Like. Uy, they do? They do classical music? They like? They like. They like, like. They like. They classical like. music. They like classical music. Because if you say, they do classical music, it's like, <laughs> they like classical music. Who? Does. Does. They. Oh. Oh, they here. Who do? Who like? Who do they, do they like? like? Who do they like? Mozart? No, they. Don't. 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 They Don't. 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 No, I don't. No, I don't. I can't stand her, right? I can't stand her. I like uh, Celine Dion. I don't know her. What kind of music? Kai. Does she does she sing? Does she sing? She. She sings. She does. She does. She sings. She sings. Very good. She, she sings. sings. Pop song. She sings. Ah, she sings. She sings pop song. She's really great. Do you like country music, students? So so. No, <laughs> I don't like it. No, I don't. No, no you I don't like, like it. No. I like pop, you say. I like rock. I like bachata, cumbia, like etc. Rap. <laughs> so you don't like country music. Okay. Who is your favorite musician? Who is your favorite musician? My favorite what? Musician. Musician. Musician? This is Marcel? No, 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 no. Musician is a person who plays an instrument. Because in this case. Yeah, okay. Musical. Uh, musico. Because in, in these cases, singers, we have many, right? We have many singers. But musicians, we don't have much. For example, if you tell me about uh, Daddy Yankee, Bruno for Mars. example. Uh, Bruno okay. Mars, right? Bruno Mars plays the piano, the guitar, right? He's a musician as well, and he's a singer. But if you tell Andrea me about Bocelli. Andrea Bocelli, good, but he's a singer and he also plays an instrument. I don't remember what, the piano, I think. I, I don't remember. But Daddy Yankee, for example, is just a singer. I have never seen him playing any instrument, right? Well, even Marito Rivera. Marito Rivera is a musician, a musician right? He plays the keyboard. Bon Jovi? Bon Jovi, right? He plays the guitar. He's a singer and he's a musician as well. Very good. Ray Charles. Alicia Keys. Ray Charles. Who is, what kind of instrument does he play? Ray Charles, the piano. Oh, the piano, right? Okay, and Alicia Keys? Piano. The piano as well. Very yes. good. Do you like Mozart? So mm. so. Yes. Mozart. Yeah, so so right. And do you like Mariah Carey? No, yes. uh, I don't know. Uh -huh, but right now, uh, if you open any social media, it's like, oh, la, 
I want for Christmas. And it's very famous everywhere. Teacher, the Mozart is for baby. Mozart is very good for babies, right? They say that if yeah. you play, well, um, it's for any type of, of, of people, right? They say that if you listen to this type of music when you are studying, you can concentrate a little bit more. So yeah, that's a problem for me because I love dancing and I love moving my body and everything. Mm -hmm. So if I start studying and listening to any type of music, I will end up dancing. So mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a problem. For pregnant women, también, please. And what type of instrument does uh, this person play? Mr. Robert, what kind of instrument does he play? Does he play uh, what? No, the, 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 the singer that you mentioned. El artista que acaba de mencionar. Jovi. Uh -huh. uh, he takes guitar. Okay, very good. Tell me, do you like Celine Dion? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes I, I like them. I <laughs> Only, only the Titanic song. <laughs> she, have, she have a beautiful, how do you say boss? Voice. Boys. 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 She has a beautiful, a beautiful voice. voice. Good, very good. Excellent. And do you like Britney Spears? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Baby, give me yeah. one more time. <laughs> well, great. Do you like Adele? Yes, yes. I, like, I like it a lot. Very yes, good. Like okay. Ten years ago, I like her. Oh, you like Britney Spears <laughs> ten years ago, or Adele? <laughs> good. Ella, ella. She, oh, okay. She like me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Very good. Yeah. She, she, you said that she wanted to be with you, but you didn't like her. Don't like don't like your music is is her. Okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> okay, my dear students, thank you very much for all your answers. That's very nice. So a little review before we move on into a different topic, right? In the case of this sentence that it says, I like parties. And the question would be, do you like parties? If you have the sentence, you eat ice cream, what is the question that you can create? Do you eat ice cream? Do you eat ice cream? Do you eat ice cream? What other questions can you ask after this one? What, what kind of ice what cream kind do you of like? Of ice cream do you like? What kind of ice cream? Another question that you can ask. Mm. Think about more, more, more questions. Así como cuando se acaban de conocer, que le preguntas tal. What kind of flavor do you prefer? What kind of flavor? Good. What kind of flavor? Another question. Do you like chocolate ice cream? Do you like chocolate ice cream? Uh -huh. But if you want to take her to a specific place, what question would you make? Where do you buy ice cream? Where do you buy ice cream? That's a very good question. Or what is your favorite ice cream shop? Right? If, if she says, no, carreton. You have to look for one. I don't know how, but you have to look for one carreton. Or she says, or Sarita, or I don't know, Boston, or any other one. He likes music. What is the next question? Does he like music? Uh -huh. What other questions can you invent? Um, what kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? Continue what asking more questions. Music? What is your favorite music? What, what is your favorite song? What, what is your favorite song? Uh -huh. What is your favorite singer? Good. What is your favorite song? What is your favorite singer? What else? What is your favorite? What your favorite music? What is your favorite music? How often? How often listen the music? Listen to music. How often listen to music? How often? Remember to use the auxiliaries. How often do you? 
How often do you ah, listen to music? How often do you listen to music? Very good. The next one. She plays the drums. You know what's the meaning of drums? No. No. La batería. Right. She plays the drums. The question is, does she play the drums? What other question could you make? Imagínense que conocen a alguien que puede tocar la batería. When you're starting to play the drums. When did you start to play the drums? Very good. Any other question that you can create? What would you ask? A drummer. Uh -huh. Is she a drummer? Well, are you a drummer? Yes, she is because she can play the drums. Any other question? Who teaches uh, play? Uh, who teaches? What is the past tense of know. teach? Teaches? What is the past tense of teach? Pregunta Paez, vamos a ver. Tic tac, tic tac, tic tac, tic tac, tic tac. Teach? Who taught you? Talk. Who uh. taught you? Right, I am going to send it to, I am going to send you back to, re, to review the, the past tense of the verbs. Mm. <laughs> Who taught Talk. you? Who taught Talk. you? to play the drums, good. And the next one, it works well. Does it work well, right? We watch TV. Do we watch TV? What other question can you add? What program, what program favorite? What is your favorite program, right? What is your favorite program? Any other question? Do you like watch TV in the night? Do you like? You Hey, very good question. Do you like to watch TV before going to sleep? Good. Any other question? How long do you watch TV? How long do you watch TV? For an hour, for two, for one day, for two? <laughs> we never know. Do you watch TV in the living room or in your bedroom? Do you, in that way, very good. <laughs> Do you watch TV in the living room or in the bedroom? Where do you watch TV? Excellent. And do you, they, uh -huh. do you drink water before to sleep? Do you drink water before? To, <laughs> that's an extra question that you can make, right? Hey, it, and I think everybody does. I do it. I don't know you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yes, I think yes, I, do. I do. Yes. And in, in some cases I say like, no, I don't want. And when I am in the bed, it's like, yes, I want. <laughs> and then I have to go back to the kitchen. <laughs> Good. They like football. Do they like football? What other question can we have? What is your favorite team? What is your favorite team? That's a very good question. Excellent creation time. Remember that at the moment of interacting with someone, you cannot just say like, hi. Hi, and that's it, right? No, you have to continue right with the conversation. We Salvadorians are very good for creating conversations. And we were talking about this before, right? So it's like, it's very hot, right? Yes, it is. And then you start talking about everything. So in English is the same, right? But we have this advantage in El Salvador that we have practice about creating questions. Here I have, a little section of questions for do and does. What type of questions do you think that you can use with do? And what type of questions do you think you can use with does? Do you want to come? Do you want to come? Good. Good. Do I look good? Do I look good? Does he bother you? Does he bother you? Do you know what's the meaning of bother? No. Molestar. Molestar. Molestar, right. If you have a brother or a sister, you know the meaning of this. <laughs> right? Bother. Yeah, bother. Más cuando los papás no estaban viendo, right? Bother. That's Does the party, party start, party start, start, at, start, 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 start at, at 
Does the party start at six? Very good. Does it rain? Does it rain? Does it rain? It's good. Rain. Do they watch TV? Do they watch TV? Do they watch TV? Does he ride his bike? 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 Very good. Does he work, Does she work, she work with, with you? you? Work with you? Very good. Do they like Spain? Do they like, Do they like Spain? Spain? Do they like Spain? And? Does, Does it look, look, it look okay? Okay. okay? Okay. Does it look mm. okay? Good. The second question, for example, when uh, your, I don't know, girlfriend, boyfriend asks you this, you have to say yes all the time. When he said like, do I look good? <laughs> yes, beautiful, fantastic. Si se acaba de cantar, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to mention anything else. It's like, do I look good? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so that's, that's the only answer that you have. And does it look okay? Imagine if she's asking for a dress. Does it look okay? Yeah, perfect. There's no other question. Good. Practice with me. Do you want to come? Do you want to come? Do you want to come? Do I look good? Do I look good? Does he bother you? Does he bother you? Does the party start at six? Does the party start at six? Does it rain? Does it rain? Does it rain? Do they watch TV? Do they watch TV? Does he ride his bike? Does, Does he, he ride, ride his, his bike? bike? Does she work with you? Does, Does she, she work, work with you? you? Do they like Spain? Do they, Do they like, like Spain? Spain? Do they like El Salvador? Do, Do they, they like El Salvador? Salvador? Does it look okay? Does it look, Does it look, look, look okay? okay? Very good. Excellent. So in this case, it was very good because does is only for he, she, and it, and do is for all the rest of the subjects. Very good job. So here we are going to go with the last practice of this topic. I need you to ask one question to one person in the room. I need six volunteers. Six manitas arriba, six volunteers. Six volunteers, six volunteers. I have one, two. I have Jonathan Josué, Roberto Calderón, Heidi. More, more, more. I need three more. Tres manitas más arriba. Only three. If not, I will pick them. Si no, yo las escojo, no se preocupen. Eric, Mario. <laughs> Antes que... <laughs> yeah, Eric, Mario, Roberto, Jonathan, Heidi. I need one more. Only one. Oh, Carchacón, thank you very much. <laughs> Finger credit. Okay. Good. Let's okay. see. Okay, Oscar, ask anybody in the room a question with do or does. Well, in this case, with does. Or do you? Go ahead. Sorry. Eh, ¿Moví la pantalla o es yo la debo hacer? No, no. Yo la acabo de dejar de compartir. So you have ah, okay. to... Es que de repente, don't worry, don't worry. Estoy en el teléfono. Oh, no, estaba okay. en el teléfono, entonces de repente pensé que lo había movido. No, don't worry. I share it again. Ask anybody in the room a question using do. Okay, eh, Heidi. Do you like to travel? Yes, I like to travel. Give me more information. Yes, I like to travel. Uh -huh. Yes, I like to travel. Uh, how's the, my, my father? Okay, to the house of your father. Good, very good. Heidi, yeah. ask any other person in the room a question. Oscar Chacón. <laughs> Oscar Chacón, the real name. <laughs> okay. Do you like horror movies? Do you like horror movies? Not really. I don't like the horror movies. Okay. Oscar Chacón, <laughs> choose another person. 
Ok. Eh, Mario. Francisco. Ah, Mario, Mario. Good. Mario, yeah, Mario, Mario, Mario. Francisco lo Mario. ve que quería contestar. <laughs> Mario, go ahead. Okay. ok. Mario, does your father work every day? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Good. Uh, he don't work. He doesn't. He doesn't work. He doesn't work. Sorry. Good. Very good. Mario, ask another person in the room another question. Jocelyn. Jocelyn, uh -huh. Do you like to travel? The different questions, yes. not the ones that are there. Uh -huh. okay. Continue. Continue. Yes, I like to travel. Very good. Jocelyn, ask another person a different question. Um, Eric Ramirez. Uh -huh. Do you like to eat pupusas? Yes, I like eat pupusas. Yes, I like and to eat pupusas. Good. The planes de renderos. Very good. Extra information. Eric, another person, another question. Okay. Um, ¿Quién falta? Anybody in the room. We have Jonathan Gabriel. We have Catherine Reyes, Mr. Guillermo, Maria Amanda, Roberto, Marlon, any person. Okay. Um, Angela Xiomara. Angela, go ahead. Uh, do you like funny movies? Yes, I do. I like a lot. <laughs> you I like it a lot. That. Very good. Excellent. Angela, can you ask Roberto, please? Roberto, do you like playing video games? Yes, I do. I like to play Call of Duty. Oh, good. That's a very good game. Roberto, ask Mario. Mario. Do you practice any sport? Yes, I do. I like uh, play basketball. I like to. I like I, to. I like to. Very play good. Remember that after like and want, we have to use to. Mario, ask a question to Guillermo. Do you drive a bike? Uh, yes, I drive a bike. Do you ride? Right. right. Okay. Okay, because it needs personal and physical exercise. Right. Do you ride a bike? Good. Very good. You can ride a bike, a horse, or a motorcycle. Okay. And drive the car. Thank you, Mario. Guillermo, ask the last question to Mr. Francisco. He wants to answer. Okay. Uh, Francisco, do you like to travel? Repeat, please. Uh, do you like to travel? Um, I don't. Ah, no, you don't. Guillermo was going to give you a, a trip to another country. <laughs> uh, y ya le regalaba el boleto, sí. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like to travel. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, my dear students, for the practice. Now, we are going to move on a little bit, and we are going to do a little listening exercise. On this listening exercise, we are going to check on the information for different people. So for this one, I need you to use your notebook because you are going to write the information from the listening, okay? Here you have three different people. You have Bill, well, you have four. Bill, John, Tony, and Linda. They are going to give different likes and dislikes about music, movies and TV programs. I need you to write the information for all of them, right? What type of music does Bill like? Classical music. What type of movies? What type of TV programs? About John, Tony, and Linda. I am going to play the audio three times for you to write all the information possible. So uh, on your notebook, okay? Show me your notebook, please. Oh, there you go. You have it. Good. Very good. Uh -huh. The notebooks. What are the notebooks? There you go. Even a paper. It's okay. Don't worry. Hey, an agenda. It's very nice. Excellent. So let's listen to the audio. We're going to listen to it three times. 
And then later on, you're going to share the information with me. Tell me if you can listen to the audio. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Yeah. Good. Yes. yes. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. <laughs> okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? Okay, listen again for you to get all the information. What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, Let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. <laughs> okay. Do you have the information or do you need to listen to it again? I have the information. You have yes, the I do. information. Good. So, Talking about music, what type of music does John like? Yes. Yes. What yes. type of music? What type of music? He like. Uh, John like, like jazz like music. Yes. The music. Okay, Bill likes classical music. What about John? John. Yes. Yes. Like jazz music. What about Tony? Rock. He like rock music. Rock music. Like rock. music. And Linda? Pop music. music. He like music. music. Pop. Or rock. Pop. 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 Music. What about movies? What types of movies does Bill like? Thrillers. Thrillers. Like thrillers. 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 And John? 
Western. 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 Right? What about Tony? Horror films. Horror films. And Linda? Horror films. Horror films. Horror films. And about horror films. Good. About TV programs. What are Bill's favorite TV programs? News. News programs. News. John? Talk show. John talk show. Talk show. Talk shows. Uh, Tony? Game, Game shows. shows. Game shows. Game shows. And Linda? Talk shows and game shows. Good. So, what person do you consider the most appropriate men to go on a date with Linda? That they are going Tony. to match. Tony. 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 <laughs> Tony. Tony. Why? Because he likes rock music and Linda doesn't like jazz and classic music. Good, very good. What else? How do you say uh, gustos? In este likes. caso, the same gustos? The same likes. Oh, the same likes, thank you. So they have the same likes. From the three boys, which one do you think is Tony? The first one? Uh, do you think it's the first one, the second one, or the third one? The third one. The third one. The third one. one. <laughs> the third one. Why do you say that he's the third one? Because of the order of the answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So maybe this one is this one is Tony. But maybe Linda is going to like the second one. We never know, right? But this one, <laughs> no. He is not. This is Tony. <laughs> okay. Aquí está. Lléveselo. Right? He is Tony. <laughs> he likes horror movies and he likes game shows. And look at Linda. She's very cute. So they are going to have a perfect day. Thank you very much, students. Very good job. So hopefully they are going to have a fantastic date watching a horror film. I have here an example of an invitation, right? Now with the pandemic is very different. Everything about the invitations, going out, having dates and everything. But yes, we always invite people to do things. And here I have an example. And it says, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Would you like to go? This is the first like form of an invitation. Would you like to go? Would you like Thanks. to? I would love Thanks. to. I would love to. What time does it start? At eight. What time does it start? What time does it start? That sounds great. So, that do you want great. to have dinner no. at six? Do you want to have dinner? That is the second form of question. Do you want to have dinner at six? As you can see, the first invitation was very formal, right? La primera pregunta, invitación, muy formal. Would you like to go? Te gustaría ir? Now the second one, as you have a, a yes answer, you say, do you want to have dinner? So this is a little bit more informal. I will say like, oh, I would like to, but <clears throat> that's the enemy. But... Sure is the enemy, huh? I have to go late. Yes, Roberto. Thank you, Oscar. Cuando dicen, I'd love to, ¿qué es? El, ¿Cuál es la ah, contracción? A, la contracción de... That's de a gold. very good question. I would. The wolf. The contraction of wood. I Teacher, would. But... Uh -huh. eh, En la otra pregunta no le no llevo no no lleva el would y le contesta con ID. I would like to, yes, it's the same. Sí, me gustaría. Yeah, it's like I would like to, but and the the enemy is here, but yeah, en una invitación si ya le dicen but ah, they're like no, oh. <laughs> I would like to, but eh, pero Oh my God. So, ahí viene el no. I have. Mm, el, el 
esto es como otro contra, alguna contracción de algo. Which one? Eh, to. I love to. I, I like would love to. to. Ah, no, no. I would love to. It's like me gustaría. Okay. That's the phrase. I would love to. Okay. Esa es la frase completa. I would love to. Es como cuando... En la sentence says... Es... En, en la oración sería would you like, pero como está preguntando, te gustaría. Entonces, cuando dice I like to, me gustaría. Sí, me, but... sí, me gustaría. Pero uh en -huh. this one, it's like I would like to, but. Uh, eh, here we have a phrase and we have it also in Spanish when you say, like, sí, yo encantada, o me encantaría. Y ya no terminamos. Sí, me encantaría ir a comer contigo, right? Because you always say, oh, sí, por mí encantada, o oh, sí, me encantaría. And that is the meaning of I would love to. Aunque eh, ahí también uh -huh. podría ser este, una respuesta larga como la do y el, y el does. I yes. like to dinner, dinner with you. Yes, for sure. You can add a complete answer. Yes, I would like to go to the movies with you. And no problem, right? But there you have the two options. Digamos que el tú es para abreviar todo lo demás. Ah, ahí esa sería como la respuesta corta. Cuando decimos, I would love to. It's like, sí, sí quiero, me encanta, me encantaría. And just to be brief, right? Para ser corto y breve. I would love to. And it says, but I have to work late. Uh -huh. La contracción de, el, el, la pronunciación de la contracción de la like igual, es solo como I. I know. would love to, yeah, I. I would love to. I would love Aid. to. Mm -hmm. And if it's Aid. difficult for you Aid to pronounce it in the contraction, I would love to. Yeah. Okay. Yo siempre estoy a favor de, de ocupar la palabra completa. I would love to. It's better. Okay. And it says, oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, because she said no. So like, ah, that went over. That's okay. Para que dejes de molestar. Let's let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7:30. Ahí voy a andar con hambre en el partido. Okay, let's meet at the gate. At the gate, it's at the entrance, right? At the gate and en entrada. That sounds fine. See you there. That's amazing. The, the, well, at least they are going to go to the stadium, right? He's going to be hungry, but they are going to go to the stadium. My dear students, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Ten, I would like to. I love what time, what time do you start? Uh, uh, eight. Eight. That sounds that great. That sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, you want to have, have dinner at six? Have dinner at six? Yes, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, I, yes, I would love to. Uh, but I have to work late. Hmm. Oh, that, oh, oh, that's, that's okay. 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 Yes. Just yes. Just me that is me that is the match around 730. Okay, let's meet at the gate. See you there. See you there. So it is fantastic when you get a first answer like thanks, I would love to. But if you say like ah, but um, that's horrible. <laughs> well, it all depends. It all depends on who invites, right? If a person that you like invites you, you say like for sure, it's fantastic, let's go. But if a person that you don't like invites you, you are going to invent any type of excuse for you not to. So like, no, you see the pandemic. No, mm, very dangerous. <laughs> you are not going to go. So uh, we're going to practice invitations tomorrow as part of tomorrow's class. I am just going to leave the preview here for you to practice a little bit. I am going to send you this image right now. I'm going to spring screen it. And I am going to send it to you on the chat. So you can check on the grammar and also on the options of answers, okay? For you to have the opportunity to kind of review the topic and to be ready for tomorrow's class. 
Okay, my dear students, it was a pleasure to see you once again. I wish you have a fantastic week and I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Have a fantastic night. Good 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 night.